Can you make a living as a writer? That's the topic I'm addressing today in The Right Question. I'm Daphne Gray Grant, the publication coach, still in pandemic mode. I have a question from Zach LaPena, a writer based in Walnut Creek, California. Here's what he's asked by email. I recently graduated from college and I have my first IT job at a large company. The thing is, I've always wanted to be a writer. I have a great idea for a novel and I'm wondering if I should maybe spend the next couple of years saving up my money so I can quit and write full time. Is that a good plan? And can you really make a living as a writer? Thanks for your question, Zach. Yes, you can really make money as a writer, but it's not easy especially for fiction. Fiction is a bit more of a crapshoot than a career path. It's kind of like wanting to be an actor. Yes, some people become George Clooney or Angelina Jolie, but the vast majority struggle to make ends meet and need to get second jobs. Fiction writers are much the same. For every Margaret Atwood, there are thousands of Margaret Anonymouses. And similarly, for every Neil Gaiman, there are thousands of nameless Neils. If you're willing to write nonfiction, however, your chances of success are much higher. There's a big demand for content, for websites, for brochures, for reports, for ads. And if you can meet that need, companies will welcome you with open arms. Just be aware, however, that the skills you'll need don't relate only to writing. You'll also need to learn how to market yourself, how to negotiate, how to price yourself, and how to manage your own time. Another point, if you're serious about business writing, is to declare a niche or an area of specialty. For example, it might be food, or travel, or gaming, or IT. Your work will be more satisfying if you focus on an area you really care about. As well, it will help you build your reputation, which will make it easier for you to market yourself. But Zach, I know you've said you're interested in fiction, so here's my advice. Don't quit your day job until you have your first six-figure book deal. Instead, write before or after work and do it every day. If you write just 250 words a day, five days a week, by the end of the year, you'll have 65,000 words. That's just a little bit short of the 70,000 words you need for a novel. Not bad for someone who's writing the equivalent of a medium length email every day. And I'm sure you can do that. If this feels too unwriter-like for you, let me tell you about the first jobs of some very famous authors. Robert Frost was a newspaper boy and a light bulb filament replacer in a factory. William S. Burroughs was an exterminator. Vladimir Nabokov was an entomologist. Douglas Adams was a hospital porter, barn builder, and bodyguard. J.D. Salinger was the entertainment director on a Swedish luxury liner and Stephen King was a janitor. Zach, it sounds to me that as an IT worker, you have a pretty good job that should allow you to write 250 words per day. Finally, let me wrap up with a quote from the American director, producer, and screenwriter, Lawrence Kasdan. Being a writer is like having homework every night for the rest of your life. Zach, Many people resist the idea of doing two jobs at the same time, perhaps fearing that it represents a lack of commitment. I don't see it that way. After all, if you have a way of earning a decent living while also doing something that you love, writing fiction, then you have the best of both worlds. I simply see this as a way of keeping all your options open. If you'd like to learn more about how to make your writing a happier and more rewarding process, check out my latest book, Your Happy First Draft. It's not available in bookstores or on Amazon. The only place you can get it is my website, link below and in the show notes.